Please join me in prayer by bowing your heads. Our dear Heavenly Father, thank you for letting these two people find each other. We know that their love doesn't mean they'll never feel pain or live a life free from care. And we know that it doesn't mean they'll never be hurt or that life will be perfect with every moment consumed by happiness. But we do know that their love and marriage means that they will always have a friend and a partner, someone to help them in difficult times and rejoice with them in times of celebration. We know that any disagreements will be followed by a time of forgiveness, and times of sorrow will be far outweighed by all the tender moments spent in each other's arms. Their love is a miracle that can take their separate lives and mold them into one, take their two souls and bind them for life, and fill their hearts with enough tenderness and passion to last a lifetime. Their love is a blessing that will lead them down to life's most beautiful path. Please grant us all the wisdom to see and use simple kindness to each other and adoration for thee is the only real secrets of everlasting happiness. And let the promises made on this very special day never be broken. In the holy name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> Dearly beloved, we're gathered together here in the sight of God and in the face of this company to join together Anthony, Matt, Luce, and Shannon, Dawn, Davis, and Holy Matrimony. Marriage as commanded by God is to be honorable among all men, and therefore is not by any to be entered into unadvisedly or lightly, but reverently, discreetly, advisedly, and soberly. Into this holy estate, these two persons present come now to be joined. Marriage is a sacred institution, the basis of all human society, and should be held in honor among all men and women. Marriage has existed from the beginning of human history. Those who take its vows are brought to the closest and most sacred of human relationships. Their lives are blended, and they must share the joys as well as the sorrows of life. The husband makes a willing and unending commitment. 
to encircle his wife with his protecting care, to shield her from the rough storms of the world, to cling to her with unfaltering fidelity, to honor and cherish her with unfailing affection, and to guard her happiness with unceasing vigilance. <clears throat> the wife is committed to love and cherish her husband, to honor and sustain him, and to be true to him in all ways. Such are the duties of the estate of marriage, and each of you are under obligation to fulfill these responsibilities with love. I speak of a love that is patient, a love that is kind and understanding, a love that isn't possessive or overly jealous, nor anxious to impress other people, yet it always strives to please the other while placing its own needs last. Love has good manners and is not touchy or petty, but rather dignified and respectful. Love knows no limits to its endurances, no end to its trust, no fading of its hope, it can outlast anything. In fact, love is the only thing left when the whole world is fallen. <clears throat> so Anthony and Shannon, before God and these very interested witnesses, I ask you to pledge your love to one another. <clears throat> Anthony, will you take this woman, Shannon, to be your wedded wife? Will you love and cherish her, comfort and sustain her, honor and respect her, and forsaking all others, keep the only unto her all the days of your life. I do. And Shanna, do you take this man Anthony and be your wedded husband? Will you love and cherish him, comfort and sustain him, honor and respect him, and forsaking all others, keep the only unto him all the days of your life? <clears throat> May I have the rings, please? <clears throat> the rings you will wear are outward signs of your innermost hearts. As the ring is an endless circle, so it is a symbol of the sun, earth, and infinite universe, of wholeness, perfection, peace, and love between two souls that is never ending. Please bow your heads. Our dear Heavenly Father, please bless these two rings. But so much more important, bless the people that will wear them. May they always stand in your favor. In thy holy name I pray. Amen. Anthony, she placed it on her finger. Say the words, with this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. Hold her little hand and look into her eyes. And say these words from your heart. I, Anthony, take thee, Shannon. I, Anthony, take thee, Shannon. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. And before Almighty God. Before Almighty God, I pledge thee my love forever. I pledge thee my love forever. And ever, and ever, and ever, and ever, and ever. <laughs> <laughs> With this ring, I thee wear. With this ring, I thee That's a good sign. I shall and take thee, Anthony. I shall take to be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poorer. For richer or for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. And before Almighty God. Before Almighty God. I pledge thee my love for. If <laughs> 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 you would talk the outside candles and light the center candle together. Don't blow it out, right? <laughs> right, don't blow the center one out. The unity candle symbolizes the new family that you're now forming from your past lives. 
The flames you light it with both burn brighter when joined together. Blow the outside to it. Now you are both charged with keeping this flame burning brightly for the rest of your days upon this earth. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer and blessing their marriage. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. As you two stand here, look at the hands you're holding. And if you're not already, get used to them. I'm going to be holding these same hands for the next hundred years. These are the hands that will help you through life's long journey. These are the hands that will greet you and say, I love you each time they touch you. These are the hands that will caress you in times of joy and celebration. And these are the same hands that will wipe your tears in times of sadness and sorrow. Before this marriage, there were only two hands. But now through this marriage, there are four. And in God's hands, look out there. And all over Jacksonville and Chattanooga and I don't know where else. Everywhere, Kentucky. So may all of those hands, no matter where they are, always guide you, guard you, and love you all the days of your life. Mary Sarah Moses are too short, don't you think? Being still of our entire lives and it's over with like that. So, before I pronounce you husband and wife for the rest of your lives, on the most important moment in your entire lives, do you have anything to say to each other? This is the time to say. Shannon, I've searched my entire life for you. I'm so happy to have you now. Our forever has only just begun. start with I love you right now. Because in the next hundred years, guess what three words you're going to say more often? You say anything else, and i got to hear you say it for the first time with your married lives together. You know what this day is truly about is commitment. People don't even have to get married anymore. But you find the perfect person, the one you've been searching for forever, one you can't live without, one you want to grow with and take care of and enjoy life with, it would be crazy not to get married. In the Bible, 3,000 years ago, Old Testament, beautiful story written about commitment, one human being for another. Within the story, a simple promise. And that's the problem, it is so simple. So I'll live with this promise, we'll be together forever. It's found in the book of Ruth. Entreat me not to leave thee, or to return from following after thee. For whither thou goest, I will go, and where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people, and thy God shall be my God. Where thou diest will I die, and there will I be buried. The Lord do so to me, and more also, if all the death part me of thee. Those whom God hath joined together, let no man put asunder. For as much as Anthony and Shannon have consented together in holy wedlock, and have witnessed the same before God and this company, and thereto have given and pledged their love each to each other, and declared the same to the world by giving and receiving a ring and by joining hands. Well, here you are, happily ever after time is fixing to start. You know, every day we all wake up with a plan for the day. Most of the time, of course, most of us is go to work. The young one's like him, he goes to school. But the big day comes after much planning, it's time to get married. It's all facilitated nowadays by the technologies that we have that you deal with all the time. The computer, namely, and the internet that we can't live without anymore. So we're the world's greatest planners and organizers, but they have found that, at least on a human level, God's the planner. Though. God is the ultimate planner. He always was and he always will be. He knew a billion trillion years ago whose hands you'd be holding today, and here you are. The trick is to stay in God's plan. That's the whole trick, and you're certainly starting out that way, and I think it'll last forever. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I now pronounce you. Ladies and 
gentlemen, please rise for Mr. and Mrs. Luce.